University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Welcome to the second semi-final. Last time we saw the London School of Economics beat Selwyn College Cambridge to reach the University Challenge Series final. Tonight we'll find out who'll be joining them. First, the team from Warwick University. They defeated Pembroke College Oxford and Gonville and Keys Cambridge in the earlier rounds. And then in the quarter-finals, they knocked out a very strong Newcastle team. Let's meet them again. Hello, I'm Steve Thomas. I'm from Morriston near Swansea and Glamorgan and I'm reading history. Hello, I'm Neris Morgans. I'm from Neath in West Glamorgan and I'm reading English and German literature. And their captain? Hello, I'm Dominic Witherow from Watchfield in Oxfordshire and I'm studying Italian with European literature. Hello, I'm Jason Bossier, originally from Port of Spain, Trinidad, and I'm studying maths. Well, now, their opponents are the scientists from Imperial College London. So far, they've beaten St Andrews, Lancaster, and in the quarterfinals, Exeter. And with a combined score of 820 points from those, they are the highest scoring team in the contest so far. Let's beat them again. Hi, I'm Jim Totty. I'm from London and I'm studying maths and physics. Hello, I'm Nick Bradshaw from Gosport in Hampshire and I'm studying artificial neural networks. And their captain? Hi, I'm Mark Pallon from Woodford Green in Essex and I'm studying microbiology. Hello, I'm Chris Harrison from Winchester in Hampshire studying computer science. Well, the team should need no reminding, but in case anyone's in any doubt, starter questions are worth ten points. You must answer them on your own with no conferring, and if you interrupt a starter question and get it wrong, I'll find your team five points and offer the entire question to the opposition. Bonus questions are worth a further fifteen points, and for these the teams may confer. The very best of luck to both of you. A place in the final at stake. Here's your first starter for ten. The blue chip group, the no turning back group, the ninth... Warwick Morgans. All groups in the Conservative Party. They are all groups within the Conservative Party. <laughs> Three questions on French mathematicians for your bonuses. Which French mathematician between 1642 and 1644 invented the first digital calculator to help his father, who was a local administrator in Rouen, with tax calculations? It's not the term. Jacquard. 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 We I didn't do history of maths. No. Okay. Uh, no, it was Pascal. Which Italian born French mathematician whose most important book, Mécanique Analytique, formed the basis of all his later work in the field, headed the commission appointed during the revolution which drew up the metric system of weights and measures? Any idea? Uh, no. Uh, no, I'm afraid we don't know that. It was Joseph Louis Lagrange. Whose probability dist distribution first appeared in 1837 in Recherche sur la probabilité des jugements? This is me again, and I just don't know. Um, any idea? Uh, uh, could be. No, I'm afraid French mathematicians aren't my fault. No, no, no. no, I'm afraid we're going to have to pass on that one as well. Okay. Simeon Denis Poisson. Right, to start a question. Which unit of length defined internationally as 1,852 metres? but in the United Kingdom as sixth... Ah. Imperial Bradshaw. The nautical mile. It is a nautical mile. <laughs> Imperial bonus is Imperial. What was the title of the French vocalist Vanessa Paradis' 1988 single that reached number three in the British charts? Joe Le Taxi. Correct. Who reached number one in the singles charts in 1987 with La Isla Bonita? Madonna. Madonna. Correct. With which Italian artist did Paul Young record the 1991 single Senza Una Donna? Pavarotti? No. Pavarotti? No. no, it wasn't. It was Zucchero. Another starter question. Which Russian writer, known as the Stormy Petrel of the Revolution, was born in Nizhny Novgorod, which was renamed after him in 1932? Uh, Imperial Bradshaw. Gorky. It was Maxime Gorky. <laughs> Imperial bonuses. Which Victorian poet who wrote Atalanta in Caledon in 1865 was praised by Tennyson for his wonderful rhythmic invention? Hopkins? I'm afraid we don't know. It was Swinburne. Which French-born British writer created the character Godolphin Horn in his cautionary tales of 1907, writing of him that he was nobly born, he held the human race in scorn? He's a Sussex writer. I don't 
Hilaire Belloc. Correct. Which horse, written by Walter Swinburne and owned by Godolphin Racing, won the 1995 Derby on only his second appearance on a racetrack? Lamtara. Correct. Here's a starter question. Which three-word term has its origin in the Holy Days and Saints' Days marked on early ecclesiastical calendars in a certain colour of ink? Imperial Bradshaw. Red Letter Days. That's correct. Here are your bonuses. <laughs> Which 13th century English Franciscan was the first European to describe in detail the process for manufacturing gunpowder and also proposed flying machines and motorised ships and carriages? Roger Bacon. It was. The discovery of the secondary fermentation of wine to produce sparkling champagne is credited to which 17th century Benedictine monk? Dom Perignon. Correct. Born Grigory Yefimovich Novik, which Russian peasant was known as a mystic and holy monk and at one time believed that proximity to God came from sexual exhaustion and prolonged debauchery? It was Rasputin, yes. Very early days, Warwick, plenty of time to go. Here's a starter question. When he said in 1977, indeed, you won the elections, but I won the count, of which Central American country was General Anastasio Somoza the president? Imperial Bradshaw. Nicaragua. Yes. Here are your bonuses. In 1949, the United Nations decided that which country formed from the provinces of Tripolitania, Cyrenaica, yeah. and the Fezzan should become an independent Libya. state? Libya. Correct. Which king, formerly the Emir of Cyrenaica, ruled Libya from 1951 Idris. until overthrown by Idris. Colonel Gaddafi Idris. in 1969? Idris. Idris. Yes, it was King Idris. In which country is Test cricket played at the Gaddafi Stadium? Test um, yes. Pakistan? No, it's best yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. Pakistan. Pakistan. Yes, Lahore and Pakistan. Well done. Here's a starter question. Who became an interna international chess grand master in 1958 at the age of 15? <laughs> Imperial Totti. Bobby Fischer. Bobby Fischer is correct. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. In which Gilbert and Sullivan comic opera does Angelina sue Edwin for breach of promise whilst a susceptible judge tries to resolve matters by offering to marry the jury. plaintiff himself? The jury. Trial by jury? Trial, trial by jury? Yes, it is. In a legal trial, what term describes the speech by the defence counsel attempting to persuade the court to impose a lighter sentence than it might otherwise have done? Mitigation. Mit no, mit mitigation. Yeah. mitigation. It's a speech of mitigation. Samples of what are tested at the trial of the picks held each year, each March, at Goldsmiths Hall in the City of London? Coins. 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 Yes, Coins. Coins from the mint, that's correct. Picks is the box in which they're put. <laughs> Plenty of time to go, Warwick. Here's a starter question. We're going to take a picture round. Coming up is a picture of a stained glass window. Which artist is it by? <laughs> Imperial Palin. Chagall. It is by Mark Chagall. Do you know where it is by any chance? Winchester. Where is it? Happen to know where it is? Winchester? No. No, it's All Saints Church, Tudley in Kent. Mm. We stay with ecclesiastical interiors for your picture bonuses. Right. Coming up are three bonus questions on cathedrals and churches. First for five points, what church is this? Uh, Westminster Abbey, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Westminster Abbey. Yeah. Westminster Abbey. Yes, it's Poets Corner. Right. Secondly, for a further five points, Coventry? Coventry. Yeah, right? yeah. Coventry. Yes, it Cathedral. is. It's Graham Sutherland's tapestry there. Third for another five points. Is that Shark? Oh, is that Shark? No, it's York Minster, isn't it? Isn't it? York Minster. Oh, it oh, might yeah. be right. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Looking at York. York. York Minster. Yes, it is. It's the Marigold <laughs> Minster at York. Window at York. <laughs> Here's a starter question. On the 2nd of March 1978, a coffin containing the body of which famous person disappeared from a cemetery overlooking Lake Geneva to be found two months later in a field ten miles away? You all look blank. Warwick Thomas. Howard Hughes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Imperial Totti. Byron? No, it was Charlie Chaplin. We'll take another starter question. The overture to Wagner's opera Rienzi was the first work heard in which series of concerts when it was played on August the... Warwick Thomas. The Proms. The Proms, August the 10th, 1895. <laughs> Here are your bonuses, Warwick. Which Hungarian-born American physicist led the team which developed the world's first hydrogen bomb at the Los Alamos Laboratory in New Mexico? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. No, it wasn't. It was Edward Teller. Which mathematician and physicist was appointed director of the Atomic Weapons Research Establishment at Aldermaston in 1953 with the instruction to develop Britain's hydrogen bomb? 
I'm afraid we don't know that. And it was William Penny, always worth guessing these things. Which physicist, who later became a noted dissident, developed with Igor Tam the Soviet Union's first hydrogen bomb? Um, Toxtas O'Grady USA? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was on Andrei Sakharov. Right, another starter question. What final number is produced if the following three are added together? The number of pounds collected for passing go in Monopoly, the tribes of Israel descended from the sons of Jacob, and the pairs of chromosomes in a normal human... Warwick Witherow. 214. No, and you lose five points. In a normal human body cell. Imperial Bradshaw. 235. That is correct. It's 212 and 23. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. Which irascible surgeon was played by James Robertson Justice in several films of the Doctor in the House series between 1954 and 1970? Sir Lancelot. Sir Lancelot something. Brown. Sprat. Brown? Brown. Brown. Yeah. Something brown. No, it's Lancelot. Come on. Sir Lancelot Sprat. That's right. Lancelot Andrews was one of the first on the list of clergymen involved in which major project in the early 17th century? The King James Version of the Bible? Yes, translation of the yeah, Bible, authorised version. Yeah. Of which of Shakespeare's plays does Lancelot Gobbo appear as a servant? In which of them? No, no idea. No. Twelfth Night? No, it was The Merchant of Venice. Here comes a starter question. Which Greek military and political leader won the final victory for Sparta in the Peloponnesian War but was killed attacking Haliartus in 395 BC during the Corinthian War? You all look blank. I'll tell you it's like... Imperial Totti. Too late, I'm afraid. I'd already started saying Lysander. <laughs> we'll take another starter question. Which fictional spy master was created by John le Carre? Warwick Witherow. Smiley. George Smiley is right. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time. Here are your bonuses. What word is applied to a style of science fiction combining uh, science fiction writing combining high-tech plots with unconventional or nihilistic social values, typified by the works of William Gibson and Bruce Sterling? Cyberpunk. Correct. In media slang, what name was applied to the group of young Hollywood stars of the mid-80s who were seen to enjoy a fun-loving, pampered lifestyle? The Brat Pack. Correct. Which four-letter word, thought to be derived from a nonsense word in one of Dr. Soyce's If I Ran the Zoo, is applied to a conventional or boring person, especially those who are into computers? Nerd. Nerd is correct. <laughs> also thought to be rhyming slang occasionally. Right, here's a starter question. A car can accelerate from 0 to 60 mph in 12 seconds. Assuming its acceleration is uniform, how long does it take to accelerate to 40 mph? Imperial Harrison. Eight seconds. Eight seconds is right. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. After being accused of treason by James I, who was asked which way he preferred to lay his head on the block and answered, Walter Raleigh. so the heart be right, it is no matter which way the head lies? Uh, Walter Raleigh. Yes, it was. In 1685, which claimant to the English throne instructed his executioner, do not hack Monmouth. me as you did my Lord Russell? Monmouth. Monmouth. That's right. Uh, which executioner, notorious for his bungling approach, seems to have paid little heed to Monmouth's request, as he's reported to have used at least eight strokes of the axe in beheading him? Barbaric. I don't know the name. No, I can't remember. No. No. I'm afraid we don't know. It was Jack Ketch, became the nickname then of several other executioners. 40 against 180, here's another starter question. Which leader of the Whig Party, British Prime Minister between 1830 and 1834, is also remembered today because he gave his name to a variety of tea blended with bergamot? Imperial Bradshaw. Earl Grey. Earl Grey is correct. <laughs> <laughs> We are halfway through the contest. Here are your bonuses. They're on philosophy. Which branch of philosophy, with a name deriving from the Greek for reason or speech, has sometimes been defined as the study of propositions and their use in argumentation? Greek oh. three logic. 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 Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Which Greek scholar of the fourth century BC was the first to present a systematic account of the logic of noun expressions in a collection of works known as the Organon? Plato? Aristotle. 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 It was. Which 17th century German philosopher and mathematician laid the foundations of modern logic envisaging a universal language based on an alphabet of thought, a calculus of reasoning, and a general methodology? 18th century. 17th. 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 I, don't, I can only know Leibniz. Yeah, German that's it. That's it. Leibniz. Leibniz. It was Leibniz. Yeah. Right, let's take a music round now. You are about to hear an excerpt from a famous opera. Can you give me the opera's title?
Warwick Witherow. Uh, William Tell. You're a bit slow there, yes. <laughs> By Rossini. OK, let's see how you get on with your uh, music bonuses. You're about to hear three more arias from uh, operas, or arias from operas. In each case, you must name the eponymous hero. Here's the first. Um, Don Giovanni. I'm sorry, it's Figaro. Here's the second. Um, Don Giovanni. No, that's a tello, I'm afraid. <laughs> Finally. Don Giovanni. <laughs> He's got to come on. What? <laughs> uh, Don Giovanni. At last, who got there? <laughs> Here's a starter question. Which Oscar-winning lyricist's entry in the Oxford Dictionary of Quotations is represented by the lines, Prove to me that you're no fool, walk across my swimming pool... Uh, Imperial Bradshaw. Tim Rice. Tim Rice, the lines are from... <laughs> oh... Something in Jesus Christ Superstar. Jesus Christ Superstar is correct. Here are your bonuses. According to Shakespeare, which of the conspirators was to stab Julius Caesar? Brutus. 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 No, it was Brutus. It was Casca. Casca. I think it's Casca. I don't know. Casca. Casca. It was Casca. Which friend of Romeo's is killed in a brawl by Lady Capulet's nephew um, Tybalt? Malvolio. No, that's not. Oh, 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 we went through this. So. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I'm afraid. No. That's M something. Come on. I'm afraid we can't remember. It was Mercutio. In Macbeth, what is the name of Banquo's son who runs to safety when his father is murdered in an ambush? <laughs> mm. I hope my English teacher's not watching. No idea. I'm afraid we can't remember that one. It was Fleance. Right, we'll take another starter question. Hafren is the Welsh name for which British river that rises on the slopes of the... Warwick Thomas. The Severn. It is the Severn, yeah. your bonuses. Earth has not anything to show more fair. Dull would he be of soul who could, could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty. These are lines taken from which Wordsworth poem? Uh, prelude. No, it's lines composed on Westminster Bridge. The statue of the girl with a dolphin stands close to which bridge opened in 1894? <laughs> Definitely the rising one, actually, the Tower Bridge. Yeah. Tower Bridge. It is Tower Bridge. The masonry facing of the new London Bridge, designed in the 1820s by Sir John Rennie, was dismantled and transported to a new home as a tourist attraction in which American state? Arizona. 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 That's correct. <laughs> now, the starter question. In which process, resulting from the random motion of molecules, does a net flow of matter take place from a region of high concentration? Warwick Bossier. Diffusion. Diffusion is correct. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. If Giuseppe Verdi had emigrated to the USA, he might have changed his name to Joe Green to increase his popularity. Which composers might similarly have adopted the following anglicised versions of their original names? John S. Brooke, who was born in Germany and lived firstly from 1685 to 1750. Uh, Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach. Claude Greenmount, who was born in Italy and lived from 1567 to 1643. Uh, Monteverdi. Correct, Claudio Monteverdi. And thirdly, Dick Garland, who was born in Germany and lived from 1864 to 1949. Richard, Richard Wagner? Uh, Wagner. No, it was Richard Strauss. We're going to take a picture around now, just under nine minutes to go. You're about to see a famous painting. I want you very simply to name the artist. Warwick Witherow. Uh, Van Dyck. No. Uh, Imperial Totti. Rembrandt. It is Rembrandt van Rijn. <laughs> your for your bonuses, you're going to have an anatomy test. You're about to see three representations of bones. In each case, can you name the bone highlighted? Here's the first for five points. The pelvis. Oh, sorry, I, the one that's highlighted is the coccyx. That's correct. Here's the, the second. Okay, sternum? Sternum, yeah. <laughs> That is the sternum, yes, and finally for five points... It's the patella. That is the patella. <laughs>
Eight minutes to go. Here's a starter question. Which plan was founded in 1950 to promote economic uh, and social... Imperial Bradshaw. The Marshall Plan. No, you lose five points. Economic and social development in Asia and the Pacific and was named after the city in Sri Lanka, which contains its headquarters. Warwick Witherow. The Colombo Plan. It was the Colombo Plan. <laughs> if that was a guess, it was a very good one. You could have plenty more. Here's a bonus question. If a Member of Parliament is said to have crossed the floor, what have they done? Changed parties. Sorry. Changed parties. Right. On board ship, those crossing the line for the first time are summoned to the Court of Neptune for trial and put through various initiation ceremonies. What, in this context, is the line? Uh, the equator. Correct. Mm -hmm. Which poet expressed his view of death in the poem Crossing the Bar, which he wrote whilst crossing the Solent in October 1889? Yeats. Uh, Yeats. No, it was Alfred Lord Tennyson. Seven minutes to go. Here's a starter question. Delivered by the President at the beginning of each session of Congress, what in the USA is the equivalent of the... Qu Warwick Witherow. The State of the Nation speech. I'll accept it's just about close enough. It's the State of the Union message, the equivalent of the Queen's speech. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. In which Woody Allen film of 1973 is a man deep frozen after an operation goes wrong, only to the awaken sleeper. to... Uh, the sleeper is correct. In the 1991 film Sleeping with the Enemy, Julia Roberts' character uses what method to fake her death in order to escape her violent husband? Drowning. Drowning is right. Who directed and co-wrote the 1993 film Sleepless in Seattle? Uh, no, Nora, Nora Ephron. Ephron. Sorry? Nora, Nora Ephron. Ephron. Nora Ephron. That's correct. 142, 146 minutes to go, a starter question. What name, the Portuguese for act of faith, was given to the public ceremony which included the reading of the sentences passed by the Spanish... Imperial Bradshaw. Auto de Fe. Auto de Fe is correct. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. What name is given to an oxide containing three atoms of oxygen to two of another element or radical? Mm -hmm. What? Three atoms of oxygen, three of two of It's another. a superoxide, isn't it? Mm. Three of one atom three of one two, two of the others. Of the others. Superoxide? Super no, it's a sesquioxide. Mm -hmm. How many years are celebrated in a sesquicentennial? Well, 600. 600. No, 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 no one and a half. It's oh, 150. 150. 150. 150 is right. Which musical instrument features a sesquialtera consisting of two ranks of narrow scaled open flue pipes? Must be an organ. Is it an organ? organ? I don't know. Clarinet, maybe? No, flue pipes. Organ. Try an organ. Organ. An organ is correct. There are five minutes to go. Here's a starter question. <laughs> House. Tree, reed and hedge, or dunnock are terms used to describe which small Warwick Witherow? The sparrow. They're sparrows, that's right. <laughs> in which complete family of birds do all species feed their young on milk, in quotes, consisting of shed lining of the crop? Uh, pigeon. Pigeon is right. Which member of the pigeon family can have as many as 42 tail feathers? Uh, wood pigeon. No, it's the fantail. Which member of the pigeon family named after the marquee in its neck was only bred in Europe before about 1930 in parts of the Balkans, but has now colonised the entire continent, reaching Britain by 1955? Ringneck pigeon. No, it's the collared dove. Four and a half minutes to go. Here's a starter question. From which cabinet post did John Redwood resign? Warwick Thomas. Secretary of State for Wales. Indeed, he resigned to fight John Major. Here are your bonuses. Four minutes to go. Which 16th century English poet gave his name to a nine-line stanza form with eight lines of ten syllables and a final line of twelve? Come on. No, um, no I'm afraid we don't know. It was Edmund Spencer, first used in The Fairy Queen. Which keyboard player began his career with the Spencer Davis Group, age 15, then joined Blind Faith and Ginger Baker's Air Force? Steve Winwood. Steve Winwood. It was. In which Australian state of the Spencer Gulf and Kangaroo Island? Northern Territories. No, they're in South Australia. Three and a half minutes to go. Start a question. Which aircraft designer formed his own company in 1920, which built a... Warwick Witherow. Howard Hughes. No, you lose five points, which built a two-seater, the Moth, and was later responsible for the Comet. No idea. Uh, Imperial Totty. De Havilland. It was Jeff Geoffrey de Havilland. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. Three questions on, on MPs and bikes. Which MP, who was created a life peer in 1970 and became Lord Chancellor, was often seen cycling to the House of Commons on his Moulton bike in the 1960s? Hailsham. 
Uh, Lord no, Hailsham. It was Lord, Lord Hailsham or Quinton yeah. Hogg, who in a speech in the 1980s said, my father didn't wait around, he Norman got on Tebbit. his bike and went out looking for work. Norman Tebbit. Correct. Known as the biking baronet, who was made Secretary of State for Transport by John Major Young. in July 1995. Young or younger? Sir Young. George Young. Young. Sir George Young. Sir George Young is correct. Two and a half minutes to go to start a question. In a right angled triangle, what will be the length of the third side if the first side is three inches and the second side four inches? <laughs> What, what, yeah. Five inches. Five yeah. inches is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses. Which Atlantic Islands referendum in August 1995 on keeping its ties with Britain was disrupted Bermuda. by Hurricane Felix? Uh, Bermuda. Correct. Which former Home Secretary was appointed Governor General of Bermuda Washington. in August 1992? Waddington. Correct. In which sport has the Bermuda race first held in 1906 been held biennially since 1924? Yachting. Uh, yachting. Yachting is correct. Here's another starter question. Two minutes to go. According to the title of an operetta by Gilbert and Sullivan, what was the occupation of Marco and Giuseppe Palmieri? Warwick Thomas. The gondoliers. They were gondoliers. <laughs> you might just about do it. Here's a, here are your bonuses. Which monetary unit of modern India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka derives its name from... <laughs> you don't need to buzz, just tell me. <laughs> the rupee. The rupee is correct. Which sporting trophy was supposedly made by Indian craftsmen from silver rupees Calcutta remaining in... Cup. The Calcutta Cup is right. Which theatre critic and literary manager of the National Theatre who died in 1980 achieved fame with his controversial review, O Calcutta, in 1969? Um, Tynan. Who? Kenneth Tynan. Who? Yeah, Tynan. Kenneth Tynan. Kenneth Tynan. Kenneth Tynan is correct. <laughs> a minute and a bit to go. Here's a starter question. What word is produced by writing 1009 in Roman numerals? Warwick Thomas. Mix. Mix is correct. Here are your bonuses. <laughs> what did Joseph... Aspdin invent in 1824 when he burned and ground together a mixture of limestone and clay, naming it after the stone it resembled when it had set. Artist chalk. Artist chalk. No, it's Portland cement. What name is given to the single ridge which connects the Isle of Portland to the coast of Dorset? Portland Bill. Portland Bill. No, it's Chesil Beach or Bank. Portland, the largest city in which state Oregon. was named Oregon. after Portland? Oregon is correct. Here's another starter question. Which European principality has a parliament known as the Council of the Valleys? Warwick Witherow. Liechtenstein. No. Imperial Totti. Um, don't... No, you can't hang around. It's Andorra. Here's another starter question. What's the Arabic word for lawful used to refer to meat from an animal? Imperial Palin. Halal. Halal is correct. Here are your bonuses. 30 seconds to go. Ransom is the hero of which C.S. Lewis novel written in 1938 and the first of a trilogy completed by Peralandra and that hideous strength? Oh, Come on. Out, out of the Dark Planet? Not close enough. It was out of the silent planet. Which character in Much Ado About Nothing was not born under a rhyming planet? Oh, Orlando. Orlando. No, it was Benedict. In oh. which 1977 film are two robots abandoned on the remote planet of Tatooine and, oh. and eventually sold to a young adventurer? Star Wars. Correct. Here's a starter question. What's the cube of the square? <laughs> <laughs> and at the gong, Warwick have 230, Imperial have 300. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> You started your comeback a bit sooner you'd have made it, Warwick, but you've been a great team. Thank you very much for joining us. You now sadly had to leave the competition. Imperial 300 is a magnificent score. We look forward to seeing you in the final. Many congratulations. I hope you'll be able to join us for that climax of this year's competition when the London School of Economics play Imperial College London for the University Challenge Trophy and the title of Series Champions. That's next time. Until then, it's good night from Warwick. Good night. Good night. And it's good night from Imperial College. Good night. Good night. And it's good night for me. Good night.